Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the final college football picks video until September 2022. Wow. Man, I'm going to miss these. I do want to say one thing. I, what I want to do in the off season, because sometimes in the summer I get blocked with video. Like, I, I don't know what to make because, like, the MLB, like, I like the MLB, but it's hard to make videos about baseball. Um, I try to do hockey playoffs and whatnot, college baseball. I want to do a lot of stuff with. But what I want to do is college football record predictions. So starting in, let's say, June, we'll do, like, a few teams a week. Like, we can do, like, two teams a week. How about how about that? Like, we can do it, like, all throughout the summer to, to where we would get, like, a lot of teams done by the time that the season rolls around. Anyway, we have one last game. It's the national title game between number three Georgia and number one Alabama. A rematch of the SEC championship game. Both these teams dominated in their uh, semifinal game. Uh, Georgia really impressed me a lot. Um, I, I figured Michigan would beat them. Michigan was looking a lot better. Georgia handled them without any problems. And Bama, I mean, they beat Cincinnati. Cincinnati played well, but Bama ultimately the better team. Now, I think in order to, to figure out what... Now, let's look at the spread for this game. The spread is... Georgia's actually favored. Georgia is a three-point favorite despite losing to Alabama uh, earlier in the year in the SEC championship game. Uh, but they're a three-point favorite. Uh, actually, not two and a half. It's, it was three. Uh, the public has bet Alabama down to two, down to two and a half. And I think... I feel like... It might be. I feel like the public is going to bet Alabama in this game. I will say, I think George is out for revenge, and I think George will play much, much better than they did against them the first go-around. The first go-around, Georgia got out to a lead. They're up 10 nothing, like, in the second quarter, and Bama just threw the ball all over them. They ha Georgia has to find a way to cover Jamison Williams better now. They are now Alabama will not have John Mechie. John Mechie tore his ACL in this game earlier. And let's just say he was uh he was pretty good. It was he pretty good? Let's let's take a look at his stats. I think he did a, yeah, six catches, ninety seven yards, and a touchdown the first go around. Cause after Jamison Williams, I mean Slade Bolden's eye, Billingsley's eye, but I mean the wide receivers for Bama, I mean, they're they're pretty they're still pretty good. But John Mechie is definitely the best. Um, George Pickens is back for Georgia. I don't know how much of an impact he's going to have. I just love George Pickens. Um, the dude's an absolute goon, um, and uh, I love him. I know he had a. I know he had one catch against against. Uh, hold on. Yeah, he had he had a nine yard catch against uh, against Michigan. I hope he gets it again. But I will say, the X factor for Georgia has been James Cook. He has been amazing. He had 112 receiving yards against Michigan as a running back. He's a really good player, and I think he's going to have a good day against Alabama. I think this is going to be very similar to when they matched up in the national title game in 2017. I think it's going to be a defensive-oriented game with some points late. I think both these de – Bama's defense, I think, has stepped up. I think both both these teams are going to correct for what they didn't do on defense in their previous matchup, and I think we're going to get a a, a f relatively low scoring game. What's the over under currently at for this game? The over under is fifty two. I don't know my score prediction. Oh, my score prediction has fifty three total points. I have a score prediction for this game, but it has fifty three total points. So I don't know. I think about taking the under. I don't know. I think... Jo he, he, all right. I'm just going to get to my pick, and I'll tell you why I'm picking them right now. I am taking... I, I'm taking Georgia. I think this is the revenge tour for Georgia. I think if there's if there's any team that's going to win a national championship for Georgia, it's this team. If, they, if this team can't do it, no one else can. I think it's going to be a late back-and-forth game. I think Georgia is going to kick a late field goal to win it. Because I think that they're going to be motivated more after getting, you know, stomped by Alabama the first time. I think that they're really going to take into account that they need to, uh, that they need to, 
they need to play the pass a lot more. They have such good athletes up in their front seven. They could just they could just commit to the pass and like still stop the run. I think Georgia is the better, more talented team. I I think Alabama just kind of caught lightning in a bottle in that SEC chat. I know this is I should not be taking Georgia, but I really think that they're better. Um, I predicted Georgia to win the national championship last year. And, you know, I picked them to win it this year, starting last year. I really want to be right about that. So I don't really have a great reason for doing it, but I got a hunch on Georgia, and that's going to be my pick for the uh, for the national title. I think they're going to improve on what they did in the SEC championship. Give me uh, give me the dogs. I like I like Georgia in this game. But Monday the tenth, I'll be streaming. But I hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.